several days ago, I put out a video on where I had used ether to try to start one of these little air-cooled uh, Chinese diesel engines. Um, and during the process of uh, using ether to, co to start one in the cold weather, I wound up breaking a piston. Um, and I posted a video on that. I had a lot of comments on that video and a lot of suggestions on how to cold start one. Well, initially the first suggestions that I saw was to try to use a propane torch like this one and um, put, uh, put the hot air down the uh, intake. So I pulled off the air filter and ran the uh, hot air down the intake, uh, ran it for a few minutes or, or used the torch for a few minutes and I was able to start the engine at 12 degrees Fahrenheit. It wasn't real enthusiastic, but it, it was able to get started. So it definitely would have not started without the use of the torch, for sure. One of the commenters uh, also suggested to use a kettle of boiling water. It actually made sense when he said it, and he and I you know, exchanged some, some conversation about that. So what I wound up doing is it's like, you know, I want to do a comparison video and compare using a torch to heat it to get it start and also using a full kettle of water that was boiling. Um, along that process during that time period, I happened to find the owner's manual to this particular engine in front of us. And in the manual, which I also, I have a video I posted of all the pages in the manual, but in the manual, it stated use boiling water over the uh, fuel injecting area to start it in cold weather. I kind of chuckled. It's like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and film doing this and see which way works best. And that's what I'm doing here. So I hope you'll enjoy the video. Propane torch versus boiling water at 12 degrees Fahrenheit. The throttle is set right at the same location. And I went ahead and put on the uh, decompression lever so that way I can uh, get right to starting it pretty quick after I do this. So here we go. Okay, I've started my timer. And all I'm going to do is kind of heat around that fuel injector area, try not to leave it in the exact same spot at any given time. I don't want to burn anything up. There is no rubber right down in that area. One thing about it, aluminum is usually pretty good to dissipate heat throughout something pretty quick, even with using a torch. So the odds of really creating a, something that'll crack there, I think would be pretty minor, but we're gonna find out, I guess. Okay. One pull, two pulls, three pulls, four pulls, five pulls. Not really trying yet. Kind of going between the intake and the fuel injector. Seconds. See a little steam coming out of the exhaust. All right. One more pull and I'm gonna heat up a little more. Okay. Let's heat it up one more minute. As you're looking at the videos, it looks like I have my torch head real close to the uh, vent tube coming out of the uh, top of the valve cover. But in reality, the uh, there's quite a bit of airspace right there 
and uh, so I never really did overheat that piece of rubber I kind of felt that hose it wasn't too bad and I'm actually going back and forth down the uh, heating up at the area where the uh, fuel injector goes into the head and I'm kind of bringing it down the intake track just to kind of draw a little bit of uh, heat down right where the air comes into the head as well hopefully that'll help it start a little bit easier this torch method uh, heats better in my opinion than uh, the way I did it the first video where I took the uh, air filter out and used a torch down the intake. I think this will serve the same purpose, but I don't have to uh, take the uh, air filter element out. Okay, it's good. Just plenty hot enough. It's 12, degree, 12 degrees Fahrenheit again today. And it just said pour some over the, over the fuel injector area. This just came off the stove, so it's nice and toasty. Can't wait to give this a whirl. I actually can definitely see how this might work because that really should heat that head up pretty good, I would imagine, or at least around the fuel injector area. It'll be heating up the fuel and the head some, so the little bit of fuel in that uh, injector, maybe, and then also heat that area of the head. And it's also, it's running across the intake, so it should be heating it up pretty good. As you can see between the uh, two comparison videos, there is no doubt boiling water was the winner. It was a knockout. The propane, it put up a little bit of a fight. It definitely was able to get the job accomplished, but nowhere near as, efficient, as efficiently as the boiling water did. Uh, if I know I'm gonna be heading up into the woods, uh, you know, if, if my engine happens to not be close, I'm going to make sure that I take a, a jug and a, a big thermos of boiling hot water and put in that thermos and take it with me to pour over the head to get this thing started if it's cold. And at the same time, I will probably still take a torch with me uh, just in case I need a little extra heat uh, if that time comes. Both will get the job done. I absolutely 100% boiling water is the way to go if you have the ability to do so. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope y'all learned something. I know for a fact I did and that the uh, uh, manual was correct, uh, as was the guy that said to pour a kettle of boiling water over the head. And let me tell you what, he was 100% right. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.